Well, this story starts with a great Cardinal fan. Um, my wife has been a long, uh, long time Cardinal fan from the 60s, 70s, and, and to modern day. We decided to go to the uh, National League uh, Championship Series after the Cardinals beat the Phillies in Game 5, one to nothing. Car uh, Chris Carpenter pitched a, uh, a three-hit shutout. So um, we bought the tickets, went down to St. Louis, and uh, as we normally do, we, we get there early and enjoy the festivities. Mary got a great picture of her with the rally squirrel, which was huge this year. Uh, and Fred Bird. Can't uh, have the Cardinals without Fred Bird. And uh, the band was playing. Mary was getting the, uh, the Cardinal logo painted on her face. We waited in line uh, to see the Clydesdales actually getting hitched up. Mary absolutely loves the Clydesdales, the, the Budweiser guys. And uh, they were hooking up the team. And um, it, was, it was fantastic. It, it was, uh, couldn't have been better. It really couldn't have. Um, as we normally do, we go to center field in hopes of uh, getting a home run ball with some batting practice. Don't get to see the Cardinals do batting practice, but what we do get to see the opposing team, and we'll sit out in center field, and I don't know, we do it all the time, and um, I'm pretty good at getting one. I'm, I'm about, uh, you know, one out of two visits, I'll get a home run ball scattered about. Uh, we were sitting out in center field, and I was uh, two rows up, and there was a ball that was just hit, and it, uh, it rose quickly above the stadium, and we kind of lost it in the twilight sun. You, you look ahead, and you, you, you try to find it in the sky, and um, I did, and, and it was towering over our heads, and everyone was looking up, and um, I, I lost track of where Mary was. She was higher up in a safe distance. She, uh, I, I try to keep her out of the action, more or less. But uh, as I was looking up and seeing, watching the ball track and I was tracking it back, I realized it was gonna be high in the stands. And it was at that point, I followed the ball all the way to my wife's face. Um, that's when time kind of stood still. I couldn't get there fast enough. I just turned my head back to the right, to center field, to the players, and I look up and here is this white missile coming straight from my face. I didn't even have a chance to move, to get out of the way, and it smacked me, the sound of it hitting my chin, and then it was the ringing. Then it was almost for me like a bomb going off. Um, and I ran to her, couldn't get to her fast enough, hurling over uh, the, the seats. I just immediately kind of went to the fetal position and was just holding my face. And at that point, that's all I could do. And it was, the ringing was unbelievable. And I could hear my husband far off saying, Mary, let me see your face. And then I started thinking, oh my gosh, what happened to my face? What happened to my teeth? Um, did I break my teeth? And so, you know, then we get loaded up onto the, uh, to the chair that takes you up, the up, the, up to the top of the stadium. And then I get into this ambulance. And I tell the EMTs, we're so caring Very for caring. the nurses. Um, as well as the EMT, Jason and Suzanne. I mean, I, it's, I, re, I remember these people and um, yeah. took very good care, they did. care of me. Mm -hmm. And as Wade said, we, we, you know, we had no um, idea what the, um, how serious the injury was. I only knew that I could you know, move my mouth. I could you know, move it up and down. It was hard side to side, but you know, outwardly, you know, I still had you know, motion and range. So there was no way I was going to lead that game. Uh, bought a hot dog, bought a beer, bought peanuts. I even bought Mary one thinking that, you know, uh, maybe, just maybe she can enjoy this because after all, what's going to the ballpark without having a hot dog? And uh, actually I, ended, I enjoyed two hot dogs. But you did drink the beer, so you didn't have the beer. <laughs> she got the Budweiser. 
So we, then we, we go to the dentist on Monday and um, he <laughs> takes a, an x-ray. Panorex. Yes, Panorex and then. You don't um, want a Panorex for what we got it for. Yeah, so he looks, so he uh, gives it to us, says we need to make an appointment with an oral surgeon. And so two hours later we were in the oral surgeon's office. And, and then he just pretty much said, <sighs> no, your jaw is broken you and jaw. it's your mouth. It needs, is going to be wired shut for four to six weeks. Wired shut. Wired shut. Wired shut. Now those... Why is it why is it